Our house was broken into. It's the third break-in this month on our street. Why doesn't someone do something about the crime? Our store was robbed again today. I don't know if we're going to be able to keep our doors open if something doesn't change. Yes, I'm calling to report a suspicious person loitering on our street. He's been here for hours, and I don't feel safe. Lately, have you been feeling less safe? Violent and property crime rates have been increasing throughout California over the last few years. And law enforcement officials agree that these increases are happening in part because of recent changes to California's criminal justice system. Instituted through AB 109, Proposition 47, and Proposition 57. It started in 2011, when the U.S. Supreme Court ruled that California had to reduce prison overcrowding. This led the state to approve Assembly Bill 109, which improved unsafe conditions and overcrowding in prisons, but did so by transferring tens of thousands of felons convicted of nonviolent crimes back to local jails. And because of a lack of resources needed to house and supervise this increased prisoner population, the sudden influx of new criminals forced local officials to release tens of thousands of lower-level criminals back into our communities. This has certainly had an impact on crime rates in California. Against this backdrop, in 2014, the state then championed the approval of Proposition 47, or the Safe Neighborhoods and Schools Act, which reclassified and downgraded a number of crimes from felonies to misdemeanors. Today, because of Proposition 47, theft under $950 is considered a consequence-free crime, which has made our neighborhoods and schools less safe. Most recently, in 2016, the state championed Proposition 57, which was called the Public Safety and Rehabilitation Act. Approval of this measure means that felons convicted of nonviolent crimes can be released early from state prison. But remember, under AB 109, there are no more nonviolent felons in state prison. So who did Proposition 57 make eligible for early release? Because of Proposition 57, felons convicted of these crimes can now be released early. Do these crimes seem nonviolent to you? Taken together, AB 109, Proposition 47, and Proposition 57 did institute important, needed reforms to the state's criminal justice system. However, the new laws have also had negative public safety impacts that should be addressed. Because recent increases in crime won't be solved by hiring more police officers, the problems we're facing can only be solved if the state chooses to make some common sense improvements to our laws so that we can keep the best parts of AB 109, Proposition 47, and Proposition 57, while also being able to effectively deter crime and appropriately punish violent criminals. To learn more, visit www.takingbackourcommunityca.com.